Lynette Lesson Casino President Dr. Jose Cruz says the casino at the Liberation and Carnival should be shut down. Although Guam law allows the governor to authorize gaming during a fair or a carnival, there is no provision in local law that allows the casino in Tizen to continue operating on weekends for the various village fiestas. The permission to do those things, you know, the casino gambling at the uh, at Tizen was permitted under the you know, provisions of the Liberation Day. Okay, it's a celebration of you know, Liberation Day, and therefore, you know, because in the law it's allowed for this to be done, and therefore, even in the villages, you know, it can be done when you know, when fiestas occur, because of that that is provided by law. For them to then say, well, we just want it, we want the fiesta to be celebrated in Tizen. I'm saying, you know, that's contradic contradictory to our, to our, to our custom. Lynette Lesson Casino is asking the Department of Revenue and Taxation, as well as the Office of the Attorney General, to investigate the casino operations in Tizen and, if necessary, shut down and discontinue the gambling or games of chance activities. According to DRT Director John Camacho, they are in receipt of the letter and are investigating the situation. What I'm, I'm hearing, uh, basically through my staff, uh, is that uh, these, these uh, games of chance that are conducted over a season are basically as a result of the, the governor's uh, uh, proclamation for the village fiestas. So in other words, when, uh, uh, from my understanding, I, I, I did confirm with, with the mayor's council, uh, Angel, uh, that that is what they're doing. Um, you know, it's the, the, the mayor's, uh, whether it's uh, Dededo or, or, or certain villages, uh, they would have it over at Tijan. And I think that's what's happening right now. So uh, uh, it, there is a proclamation by the governor uh, allowing those games of chance and that uh, there's specific dates that they're following and that these, these are just uh, being, uh, I guess, conducted over at, at the TGEN. As KUAM reported on Weekend Edition, the Guam Liberation Historical Society, which oversees the island's liberation celebration and activities, is still allowing games of chance to occur in Tizen on weekends. Mayor's Council of Guam Executive Director Angel Sablon told KUAM that mayors have requested to use the casino facility for their games of chance as part of their fiesta celebrations. Sablon told KUAM that several villages received authorization from Adeloupe for the games to continue. Matter of fact, Vice Chairperson of the Guam Liberation Historical Society, Robert Hoffman, says since the Liberation Carnival ended in August, villages that have used the casino facility for games of chance include Barragada, Mingilao, Telefofo, Sinahanya, and currently Aganya Heights. Julius Santos is the governor's spokesperson and had a much different story on villages that have gotten authorization from Adeloupe. There were a couple requests to use Tizen. Uh, one specifically from Asin Maina, and uh, in the response it says, yes, you can, but in your municipality. Uh, so that's basically saying within their village. The other village is Barragata, but that's their municipality. You can read that letter from Lynette Casino on our website.